Hey everybody, J. Scott Helms here. Today we're going to talk about today we're going to talk about sliders or gliders or core sliders or whatever they're called. All right, you hear all kinds of names, but we're going to talk about how slippy slidey these things are and how sore my abs are because I've been using them. All right, I'm going to try to talk you into using them too. Signaling airplanes, waving people off, maybe a little ping pong. These things have all kinds of uses that I'm just discovering. All right. Let's slide back here and talk about them. Ugh, that was terrible. All right, so as I said, today we are going to talk about sliders. Uh, I've also heard them called gliders, core sliders, core gliders, a couple different things. So this is the set that I bought. You can see them. They're made by Synergy, and they call them core sliders. These are yellow. So you can see it's a nice little box, about an inch thick, about eight inches this way. All right, we're gonna break them open. Now, I actually ordered a set of these about three months ago um, for a class I'm taking. They were a piece of required equipment for the class. And when I ordered them, I didn't plan on shooting a video for them because I thought I would just use them for the class and that would be it. Um, but as it turns out, I ended up very impressed with these things. So I ordered a second set so that I could open them up and talk about them and they don't look used like mine back there in the gym do. So here's the box. These came from Amazon, by the way. And I will go ahead and tell you before I open them, I paid $8.95 for them, free shipping. Uh, again, these are made by Synergy and I bought these. These are not a uh, paid endorsement by any means. Um, so this is how they show up right in your mailbox. So let's crack them open and I'll show them to you. Uh, so they just open up. Like I said, they were $8.95. This is what they look like. Side one, side two. All right, they're in a little plastic bag. Rip that open and pull them out. We'll just use one. So they're two-sided, most of these are. Can reflect that light right into your eyes. Um, you have the plastic side, which is for carpet, maybe even your rubber floors if you have them. And then you have sort of a, they call it a felt side, but it's kind of like a neoprene rubber side. And this is supposed to be for like uh, wood floors, linoleum, tile, that sort of thing. So here's what they are, nice and thin. You've probably seen them before. Get a little nice endorsement on the front there. And then your plastic side. And you get two of them. Yep. And they're identical. Plastic. Kind of a squishy rubber side. Um, if there are any drummers out there, they kind of feel like a practice pad, if that tells you anything. Um, they also feel like the seats in my Jeep. Uh, so, this side. Now, I've used these mostly on uh, carpet. Um, I tried them on my rubber floor, but I end up pulling this rubber mat up that I use. I'll have to show that to you sometime, but um, it's like a 15 by 15 rubber mat supposed to keep the sweat out of your carpet. Uh, just ends up too slippery for me to use most of the time. Anyway, these, you put your foot on this side or your hands and then it slides on the carpet. In case you don't know what sliding is, let me demonstrate. Um, so yeah, two of them. Now these are seven inches across and on the flip side you can see the rubber stops right at the edge. So you probably get like six and three quarter inches on the other side. However, they're plenty big to put your hands on. Huh? And so if you were to put your foot on there, you've got, you know, you're going to overhang both sides, but it keeps you off the floor and makes it easier to slide and move. Now, again, I said I got these off Amazon. They were $8.95, and they're actually really well made. Uh, the, I ordered the same exact set that I have used, so when I ordered them, I just doubled my order and got the same ones again. Um, also, with this, also get here we go uh, you get a little warranty with a QR code on there put that right there and then you also get what they call an exercise manual 
but it comes with five examples of exercises you can do. And that's handy. You know, there you go. Put that in your library. A quick internet search will show you that there are probably 40, maybe even more exercises you can do with these. So as I said, when I ordered these, I got them for a class. They were a piece of required equipment that I had to have, and that's really all I thought about them. I was going to use them for the class and probably not use them anymore. And the way they were sort of presented to us in the class was we got to a point in the class where we were doing circuit training. And there was probably 20 exercises, and so the first day we would do five of them and do like 25 or 30 minute circuit, doing a few exercises, drop an ab in there, an ab exercise, two or three more, maybe take a one minute break, two or three more, um, and so on. And then after a couple of those workouts, once you got used to the body weight workouts and how the circuits worked and the timing, the instructor threw these in on us. And we had to do a lot of the same exercises, but using these instead of the traditional way of doing it. So for example, a burpee, instead of dropping down, jumping back, jumping forward, standing up, you would have these under your feet and you would drop down, slide back, slide forward and stand up. So we would modify all these exercises to use these. And I thought we would just do this a couple times and I would put them up, be done with them. But as it turns out, I found out these things are fantastic for several reasons. Um, first of all, if you're not familiar with these, let me back up for a second. These can be great for two or three different things. First, if you need to modify an exercise, these are ideal. Um, again, using that burpee as an example, let's say that you've never done them before and maybe you haven't worked out in a while or haven't trained in a while and a burpee is just too much for you or after one or two, they get to be too much for you. Well, these are a great alternative or a great modification that will still let you do that burpee, but in a little less extreme way. So as I said, normally, if you know what a burpee is, you're in a standing position, palms down, jump your feet back, jump back up, stand up and jump. There are all sorts of variations of them. But instead of all the jumping, you can slide back, slide forward and stand up. So it gives you a chance to do more reps or do reps you might not be able to do. These can be done for all sorts of things. Lateral lunges, forward lunges, reverse lunges, push-ups. There's about 10 different types of push-ups you could do with these. I'm going to set it down because I'm talking around it. Um, am I too close? Probably not. Uh, so we did them with those. With We did the modifications with the discs, and I realized that my core needed a lot more work than I thought it did. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not in you know tremendous shape. Uh, you're not going to see a washboard if I pull this shirt up. Um, but I thought my stability and my balance was pretty good. Uh, as it turns out, I need a lot of work. Um, and these discs, sliders, gliders, are a great way to do that. So what are they good for? Uh, first of all, they're good for your core because you're really introducing a lot of instability with these sliders and it will really help find the weak spots in your core. Two, they're great for your glutes, uh, your old back hams back there, um, because you're constantly working them with these things by pushing your foot back or forward. Same thing could be set up in your chest. If you're doing them with your hands, you can't see my hands. Normally I'm all over the place now, I'm off the camera. But um, by stretching your arms out or pushing your arms forward. Uh, these, again, they're great for modifying exercises. They're great for, if you don't have a gym at home, don't have a lot of equipment, don't want to spend the money on a lot of equipment, something like these can really help you kick up a body weight exercise. So if you're used to doing just two or three different types of push-ups, you could change it up and add several variations of push-ups using these. Think about sliding one arm out or sliding both arms forward, uh, sliding arms side to side. Same thing with your feet. If you had these under your feet, you can kick up planks by drawing one foot forward, pushing both feet out to the side. All sorts of modifications you can do with these. Um, kicking up that body weight, again, if you don't have the money to put into a home gym, I know with COVID, a lot of gyms have been closed. I know places they're reopening now. 
but for eight or nine dollars this is a great way to have an extra piece of equipment in the house that doesn't take up any room I mean there's two of them stacked not even maybe a half an inch thick seven inches across right um, and I can tell you using these on carpet they are fantastic this side down this would be on your carpet your foot would be on this side um, brand new they're a little bit slippery but after a couple of workouts and you rough them up a little bit with your shoes or your bare feet um, they bite pretty good so anyway um, what makes these so great they again good for modifying if you can't do certain things these can really help um, if you have if your knees or ankles just can't take a lot of jumping or a lot of squatting or a lot of twisting these are great to let you slide instead of actually jumping and turning say a low impact exercise into a high impact you can go the other way turn something that would normally be high impact into low impact by sliding instead of jumping take a little bit of that weight or uh, resistance off your knees and ankles same thing for shoulders and hands wrists by using these by sliding instead of pushing up and clapping or doing something crazy like that uh, you can slide in and out and still get a pretty good workout in your chest and you're still doing push-ups so nothing really changes there um, helping to modify creating instability because you're constantly working that muscle one to keep your foot on it you're bearing down a little bit you're moving those same muscles to push that leg back arm back whatever the case may be and then slide it back forward again um, you're you're forcing some of your lesser used muscles to work a good bit harder and as I said earlier if you want to find some weak spots in your chest or in your core these will help you find that in about 10 reps um, I was actually so impressed as I said I've ordered a second set and I have actually started trying to use them a lot more often um, I have actually and I will actually put links to this down below I'll put links to the product and I'm gonna put a link to two workouts that I found on the internet um, one is about 12 or 15 exercises and you can pick and choose and put a, put some together or just try them out the other has about 25 exercises and there is some overlap there's some of the same exercises but they're demonstrated in different ways um, so again that's I don't have much more I can say about these other than I was really impressed with them and I think they would be really helpful Insta instability or your balance isn't fantastic this is a great way to work on that without spending a lot of money uh, you can use them for all sorts of things they're all, like I said I'll put the link down there to a couple of the workouts um, but uh, yeah I mean for nine bucks these are great and free shipping make a great uh, Christmas gift for someone or get yourself a couple sets of them um, also I know there are tons and tons of these out there uh, I did get my hands on and tried a few uh, other people had different brands in the class there were some that were like 15 16 bucks because I'm I ask what people pay for stuff and where you got it um, 15 or 16 bucks and after about six or eight workouts the belt was wearing off of them you were kind of seeing the padding underneath them uh, some of them had cracked pretty quick I mean these I mean I'm flexing these pretty good and they hold up and I've used mine probably 10 12 times outside of the class now in the class we used them about 30 minutes a pop and uh, put them in a bag and that was it but since I've gotten them since I've brought them home and I'm using them more often I've actually been doing some stretching with them to try to get a little more limber because um, I am NOT Wow, how do I end up so close every time um, I gotta put like some plexiglass up or something but uh probably feel my breath uh, yeah anyway I don't have much more I can say about these any questions about them put them in the comment section down below I'm happy to answer anything uh, I will put links to the workouts as well as the product and uh, if you've got any tips I'm willing to try them drop them in the comments down there below if you enjoyed the video if you got something out of it please give it a like please subscribe it really helps the channel out it really helps me out and I really really appreciate it thank you so much for watching uh, today by the way is Thanksgiving 2020 so happy Thanksgiving and I will see you again in a couple of days I've got a few days off I'm gonna try to keep posting I get behind sometimes but uh, thanks for watching I really appreciate it and uh, let's slide on out of here God, who's writing this? Man.